G'day fellas and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day out there. Now for those OGs on the channel, you would know what this series is. It's basically a reload draft build minus the relocating. But there's one more important thing that I've added to today's draft build that's going to make it a lot more interesting throughout the entire experience. We're going to be using the real draft classes. Now the 2020 ones are going to be by my good friend Bengal. I'll leave his link down in the description. I'm sure if you know me, you got to know who Bengus is. But if not, his link is down there. Make sure you go give him a sub. So basically, we're only allowed to build through the draft there is absolutely going to be no trading for other players the only thing you can trade for is draft picks when it comes time for the free agency you can go in but you can only sign one person the entire year the first episode to me is always the most interesting because we're going to be gutting the team before you can build the team up you gotta gut it. Dalton's gone another thing to mention is we will do three off seasons and the fourth season will be a push for the Super Bowl. This will probably take me a while. Let me just edit this out. I'm sorry, but this trade is just absurd. The Dolphins really gave up potential pick one for that. All right, we are done, boys. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I thought. That was probably my most successful trade for actual picks ever. The team is down to a 71 overall. We have 49 players on the squad. I mean, I did get rid of Gino, big bad Gino. If you've been watching the Dreadnoughts franchise, he's a beast. Uh, the offensive line is pretty garbage. I like our receiving core, Tyler Boyd, John Ross, Stanley Morgan Jr. On the defensive end, what do we got to work with? William Jackson, Carl Lawson, somebody I'm expecting to dominate in this particular build. Other than that, it's, mate, it's, <laughs> I mean, you see the team, right? You see it. Look how bad it is. Yes, it's working. We are 0-2 to start the season, kind of like the Bengals in real life, huh? That's one thing I forgot to show you was the draft picks that we managed to snag. Eight first round picks, two second round picks, a third and a fifth. I mean, just think about all the talent we're going to be able to pick up with those picks. Hopefully, we can get the number one, two, and three pick. And again, I'm going to be using Bengals draft class. It has like 236,000 downloads or something. I've never used it before. This is my first time. But I'm excited nonetheless. Let's go scout, see what we can do. Joe Burrow is here. Obviously, Chase Young is there as well. They're both, they're my main guys. I want to get both of them. We need to start working on the O-line immediately in season one. Andrew Thomas, Tristan Wirfs, both of them. Wide receiver isn't the thing I want the most, but Jerry Judy would be awesome. Grant Delpit would be amazing. I'm not really going to go that much into offensive line until we get the scouting reports, but I am going to scout a couple dudes in the first few rounds. Speaking of which, who do we want to bring back? Uh, nobody. <laughs> that would be my first response. Stanley Morgan Jr., he's definitely coming back. I think he could really develop into something if we were to utilize him on the offense. Uh, I also like Andrew Billings. We're going to bring him back 100%. Look at that money we have as well. When it comes time for free agency, we're going to make it splash. And we are currently 0-8, boys. The tank is on. We finally won and we beat the Ravens. That would just never happen ever. How did Ryan Finley throw three touchdowns and zero picks? Lamar Jackson, 5-2. and two. Where did our touchdowns come from then? <laughs> I haven't really gotten down to the later rounds yet, but you can see the draft board. Uh, it's not in order yet, but it's coming together. We don't need a running back, but I like Jonathan Taylor a lot. So I put him on there. Logan Stenberg looks like a solid pickup in the sixth round. Again, I do not know the overalls of these players, but my scouting sense is tingling me. Wait, what? The Raiders? Are the Raiders trying to threaten our tank? Oh, Joe's in here, mate. Yeah. I don't care if you're projected in the six. I know you're a great player. You're on the board, mate. That's a beautiful sight. We have both of these picks. We also have four studs in the first round for cornerback. I was thinking of Kuda, but it depends on how high our picks are. You know what I mean? Like, we're looking solid, mate. First and second in the bag. And the Broncos made the Super Bowl. How, mate? It sucks because I have their pick. I didn't think the Broncos would go to the Super Bowl, mate. With who? We do have the first and second pick. 9th, 11th, 15th, 17th. Mate, who's 3-8? to eight? <laughs> You know what I mean? Who could possibly be in that spot? Probably the Raiders. The Broncos being in the Super Bowl, though, is just the biggest head scratcher. But as per the rules, we can only sign one person, mate. Who's it going to be? We have Andrew Luck, who didn't retire for some reason. 
Austin Hooper would be great because we desperately need a tight end. Kareem Hunt wouldn't be bad. What is with the rosters, mate? I'm so confused. Do I want Chris Jones or Austin Hooper? That's the question. Yes, we got Chris Jones. He's coming to Cincinnati. We had to pay an arm and a leg to get over the Dolphins, but we did it. And already you can see the team is on the up and up. We started at a 71. We're now at a 78. Look at our left tackle, mate. He's a boss. We also need a linebacker and a safety. I know a guy who might be able to fit the strong safety role, but for now we have Carl Lawson and Chris Jones. Imagine. To this point, I'm really enjoying the rebuild, but this is where we put it all together. We have the first pick, the second pick, and then I believe it's the ninth. Raiders, Rams, Cowboys. And with the first pick, we are going to pick up Joe Burrow, 76 overall, hidden development. I don't know what Bengus made these. I assume Joe Burrow was at least a superstar development. But without a doubt, it's got to be O-line or Chase Young. And I'm leaning towards Chase Young. I just think pairing him with the D-line we have is going to turn around his defense relatively quickly so he's an 80 overall hidden development ranked one in the class hey we did it boys joe burrow and chase young on the same squad the question is what are we going to see the computer do andrew thomas okay Derek brown isaiah simmons there goes me cornerback thank you vikings tua goes to the titans I really, really, really want to get Grant Delpit, but we need O-line to... I'm going Grant Delpit. I, I can't help myself, mate. I have to. Plus, we get to pair him up with Joe Burrow. I would say our first three picks have been amazing. I think I might go ahead and pick up Dylan Moses. Uh, we do need linebackers, as you saw. Oh, he's projected mid. That's not a bad pickup. 74 overall. Hey, I'll take it. It's still first round projected. Do we add to that with Diggs or do we go CJ Henderson? He's got a 7.8 combine, which is disgusting. 437 speed. First on the bench. I think I gotta take him while I can, mate. 75 overall. We 100% have to get offensive line now, though. There's no ifs or buts. I think we'll start safe and get Creed Humphrey out of Oklahoma. 76 overall hidden development. Okay, that's good. That's one of five done. We could always get Henry Ruggs as well, which would not be a bad option. 426 speed. I don't know how accurate that is. You know what? Let's do it. Let's pick up Henry Ruggs. I want to see what this 426 is all about. 75 overall. Rank 20th. We get him at 26. 97 XL, 96 speed. Okay. So we are going to be cheesing out there on offense. Let's pick up Jackson out of Iowa. I don't know what his stats are going to be or anything, but... Okay, 73, that's not bad at all. In fact, that is better than Jonah Williams. He was only a 71 overall, I believe. I mean, just look at who we've drafted. Chase Young, Joe Burrow, Grant Delpit, Tillon Moses, CJ Henderson, Creed Humphrey, Henry Ruggs, and Alaric Jackson. Could this team win a Super Bowl? Potentially, mate. We'll have to see if they can put it together. Let's take Lucas Niang out of TCU. He's a 72 overall. Uh, he doesn't look too enthusiastic. Normal development. I might trade away our second and third round pick for next year picks as well. I don't know how accurate it is, but I have another draft class lined up for 2021. We'll get into that next episode, but for now, I'm thinking I don't want any 2020 picks. Let's go this one from the Seahawks. We get a second rounder. Please tell me my boy is still there. He's not. Batchy got drafted. Now I'm upset. Do you know how bad I just wanted Batchy? That's it. By the way, I know it's Batchy, but I call him Batchy. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't actually know. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Uh, I didn't scout a lot of people this far down for obvious reasons. All right, so the draft is over. Let's go recap and see how the Bengals did. We had a whole bunch of draft picks. Next episode, we're going to find out what development trait all of these guys are. I would not be surprised if we just picked up four or five superstar players. But we do have Joe Burrow. We do have Chase Young. Grant Delpit. I'm also interested to see what Henry Ruggs can do as well with that speed. I feel like Niang will develop into a beast. And AJ Dillon, 6'245", just running fools over. I can't wait to see that, but 
That's a lot of contract money that we just dished out. 20 million bonus to borrow and Chase Young. That is ridiculous. We're already up to a 78 overall with an 81 overall defense. Wow, look at the improvements though. Boyd Ruggs and John Ross getting thrown to by Joe Burrow. Jermaine Pratt moves out to left outside linebacker. Grant Delpit fits perfectly. CJ Henderson fits perfectly. The computer moved Carl Lawson to left end. That's kind of funny. But uh, look at this D-line now. I do like Billings. I think we only need three out of the four to be absolute monsters. But Chase Young, Chris Jones, and Carl Lawson are going to do some damage. That's for sure. But with that being said, fellas, I think that was a really successful first episode. I do have the 2021 class downloaded again. Don't know how legit it is. I just got the most popular one. But for now, I'm happy with the squad. I can't wait to see what these guys do. I'm also going to start training them next episode. And we'll check out the stats from all of these guys then as well. But that being said, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.